Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, we will look at uh, something called startup scripts. Say, for example, if you want to run something every time your uh, virtual machine starts up or every time you reboot your machine, you can use something called a startup script, which you can define um, when you're creating your virtual machine. So that's what we will be seeing in this video. It's not a big thing, just a simple, once I've logged into my uh, Google Cloud Console here and I'm using my Just Me an Open Source account and if I go to VM instance, we've got uh, no virtual machine. So let's create the virtual machine. So while creating, we will have a field where we can specify what we can run during the machine um, launch time or during whenever the machine reboots. Okay, so let's say instance one, I'm not worried about the machine name. If you want you can add label i'm going to choose the london region and uh, best to a as the availability zone general purpose let's choose f1 micro and i'm going to go with the debian disk image that's fine and under management security disks networking soul tenancy so this is where it gets interesting so under management you will see an option for startup script so you can choose to specify a startup script that will run whenever your instance boots up or restarts. So that's important to remember. Uh, because I've used this feature in AWS, it's called the user data. So when you're creating your EC2 instance, uh, there is a user data field. I think it's on the second screen, configure instance screen, where you can specify the user data that gets run only when the uh, instance gets launched for the first time. So even when the machine reboots or restarts, uh, it won't get run. So only during the launch time, it will get run. But here in Google Cloud, the startup script here, whatever you put in here, that will get executed every time your machine gets restarted, not just during the launch time, not just during the first uh, boot up time, first boot. It gets run every time you restart the machine. So you need to bear that in mind. Uh, for example, if you put, write some scripts here and um, you do some changes on your machine and when you restart your machine, all the scripts, um, all the commands that you specify here will run again and it might overwrite the changes you've got in your machine. So you need to uh, bear that in mind. And you also need to make uh, the commands that you write here are item potent, all right? All right, so one thing to note is any commands that you put in here, it can be a bash script, it can be a Python script or anything. Um, whatever you put in here, it will be run as root user, all right? So I'm gonna say shebang bin bash and this is a Debian image that I'm using. So let's say I want to uh, install Apache web server. Okay, so apt install minus y Apache 2. In Debian, uh, in Ubuntu, the Apache 2 package, when you install it, it will also um, enable and start the service for you, unlike CentOS, uh, where once you install the HTTPD package, you also need to enable and start the service um, otherwise the service won't start. But in Ubuntu and Debian based system, the Apache 2 package, once you install at the end of the installation, it also starts the, um, the script, starts the service. Okay, so I'm gonna install Apache 2 and I'm also going to install a package called W3M, which is a, a console based uh, web browser, okay? And I'm going to create a simple index.html file, echo, let's say, Hello world, and let's redirect that to war www.html index.html. So that's our very simple uh, startup script. So every time our machine starts, it's going to check whether Apache 2 is installed, W3M is installed. So every time it runs, there's no harm, even if it runs the second time or third time, because uh, if the package is installed, it's not going to do any harm. But here, uh, we are echoing something to the index.html file. So once you log into the machine and change index.html file, the next time the machine reboots, the script, the script gets run and it will overwrite your changes. So that's what we are going to verify, all right? So app install minus y apache2 w3m and we are creating an index.html, that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and create this virtual machine. Wait for the machine to get created and then we can use our gcloud ssh command to log into that machine 
and do some verification all right so the instance has been created so now let's go back to our console and do gcloud compute instances list so we have one instance and let's log into that gcloud compute is a search instance one and once in there I'm gonna become the root user export term equals extern so I've got a weird terminal setup so I had to do this one okay so don't worry about that and if I do system CDL status Apache 2 and you can see Apache is running so our startup script actually worked because the default Debian uh, disk image didn't have this Apache 2 uh, package install and service running so our startup script actually worked and if I do cat war www.html index.html we have the hello world and we installed the w3m package and I'm gonna verify that we can access the web server at localhost there we go so we've got hello world that's running fine cool all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit change the content of the index.html file echo just me and open source point that to war www.html index.html that's done and now if I do w3m localhost you can see just me and open source cool okay there we go so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this instance let's say first let's stop the instance okay so now the instance has been stopped now let's start it again yep start the instance and once the instance is started let's log into that again and see how it all looks okay refresh yep instance one is now looking good let's go back to the terminal gcloud compute ssh instance one log into the instance okay become the root user and now if i do w3m local host so the startup script actually set the index.html to hello world and we um, changed the text to just me an open source now if the startup script had run successfully since we've restarted the uh, the instance now we should be seeing hello world okay export term equals x term w3m localhost there you go hello world so our changes is now lost so whatever we changed we changed it to just me an open source now it's back to hello world so that's because uh the startup script executed so you need to bear this in mind whatever you put in the startup script will get executed every time the machine restarts not just during the first launch time okay cool so that's all i wanted to show you in this video give this a try and let me know uh, if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye